Hey, what's up? People Piz out here, and today I want to talk to you guys about 1998's Ringu. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie as well as a review of this new special edition Blu ray release from Arrow Video. And now allow me to take you back to the past, to the late 90s and early 2000s, in which I spent a fair amount of time on a couple of different horror movie message boards where me and the other horror geeks would just complain endlessly about how much horror sucked at that time. And then one day, out of the blue, everybody was raving about this movie from Japan called Ring or Ringu. Eventually, I managed to get my hands on a VHS bootleg of Ringu. I watched the film, I loved it, and I immediately understood why everybody was raving about this movie. Because Ringu is the complete antithesis of what kinds of horror movies that we were getting in the U.S. At that time, we were still getting the... <laughs> The Scream knockoff movies, the very, you know, obnoxious, uh, meta, self-aware kinds of slasher movies. And at that time, those movies were totally, totally played out and everybody pretty much hated those movies. Ringu is a subtle, atmospheric, moody uh ghost story slash mystery thriller that just gets under your skin and sticks with you. Now, I'm sure you guys are all aware of the plot of Ringu, which revolves around a cursed videotape that contains some really creepy and weird images. If you watch the tape immediately afterwards, you'll get a phone call letting you know that you have a week to live. And in the film, a journalist, her ex-husband and their young son have all three watched the tape. Now it's up to them to unlock the mysteries of Ringu before their time is up. Another great thing that Ringu did was introduced a different style of horror to the West, a different culture of horror, put it that way. Now here in the U.S., our urban legends all revolve around the guy with the hook for his hand, which is translated into movies about a guy with a mask and a knife. We're afraid really of our neighbor. And that comes through in our horror films in the East. Their urban legends revolve around spirits, angry spirits, vengeful spirits, the spirits of people who have died, but are so encumbered with grief or revenge that they, they, they can't be laid to rest. Ringu also introduced a lot of people to a different style of movie making also. Ringu from the very beginning is a film that is just steeped in atmosphere and mood. Ringu establishes an atmosphere and mood of desperation and just dread, literally from the word go. And that mood just permeates this entire film. And the fact that the characters know that the clock is ticking and that their time is rapidly running out, that just adds this, this sense of desperation and anxiety to virtually every sequence in this film. And there are so many great subtle moments in this film. There's not, uh, there's no jump scares in this movie. This movie is all about subtlety. It's all about creating mood and suspense. And even when the movie gives you, you know, you can see something in, in the reflection of a television screen. It doesn't follow that up with the big booming, you know, stinger on the soundtrack as if that's supposed to let you know, okay, now you need to be scared. Um, the movies, this film is far smarter than that. Then you add in this tension between the journalist and her ex-husband. There's something clearly ex-husband. There's a lot of history there between the two. Um, and the movie doesn't try to explain any of it. And I really dug that, but there's, there's this tension there between the two. That's just absolutely palpable. And that just adds to the overall tension in the film. Ringu is an exceptionally well-made film. The acting from top to bottom is fantastic. The pacing is spot on. There's lots of great suspenseful, tense moments in this film. There's some legitimately creepy moments in this film as well. I love the beginning of the movie. I love the very ending of the movie, which is so dark and ambiguous. Just 
great, great ending to Ringu. If you've not seen Ringu, I can't recommend it any higher. Go check out Ringu. This special edition Blu-ray release from Arrow Video would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film if you've never seen it. If you're a fan of Ringu, you definitely want to look into picking up this special edition Blu-ray release from Arrow Video and adding it to your collection. First, let's check out the presentation. The artwork on this release is very nice. It's very simple. It's very sleek. It's very elegant, I think. It's got that clean white look to it and some nice artwork there in the center. Now, yeah. here's the back of the release. Inside the release, we have the Blu-ray itself and the sleeve is reversible. And I do believe that this artwork is the original poster art for the release of the film, as well as the VHS artwork for the VHS release of Ringu. As far as the picture quality and sound quality on this release, this release features a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative approved by director of photography Junichiro Hayashi. The picture quality was absolutely fantastic, I thought. I would give it a solid four and a half out of five. Same with the audio quality. I listened with both the Mono 5.1 and the 2.0. I thought they both sounded absolutely fantastic. I would give the film's audio quality a four and a half out of five as well. The movie looked great and sounded great on this release. As far as extras are concerned... First up, we have The Ring Legacy. It's 27 minutes and 34 seconds in length, in which critics and filmmakers such as Andrew Cash, Rebecca McKendry, and Elise Wax reflect on their memories of The Ring series and its legacy. They discuss the novel that the film is based upon, the television version of The Ring that was first produced. They discuss how Ringu and its, and its sequel, Rosin, were filmed back-to-back -back and released simultaneously. They discuss the other Ring sequels, the video game based on The Ring, uh, and the various spin-offs based on the ring next up we have a vicious cycle a new video interview with kat ellinger on hideo nakata and the ring series it's 21 minutes and 12 seconds in length ms ellinger discusses the cultural differences between the east and the west when it comes to horror she discusses hideo nakata's career and japan's horror movie history she discusses the american remake of ringu and nakata in Nakata remaking his own Ringu sequel with The Ring 2, but he was not happy with the uh, lack of creative freedom he encountered while working in the U.S. and much more. Next up, we have Circumnavigating Ringu. It's 24 minutes and 56 seconds in length, a new video essay in which critic Alexandra Heller Nichols explores the evolution of the Ring series from the novels to the TV movie to the film series and so on. We get Sadaku's video, which is the cursed video from the film it's 50 seconds in length we get two trailers for the ring spiral double bill a uk trailer and an image gallery we also get an audio commentary with david collat author of the book j horror the definitive guide to the ring the grudge and so on i listened to about 30 to 40 minutes of mr collat's commentary for ringu it was very very informative uh, very insightful lots of knowledge pertaining to the origins of the ring the novel the the television spinoff um about the actors in the film, about the director. Very informative, very insightful commentary, at least for the 30 to 40 minutes that I listened to while watching The Ring. This is a very nice Blu-ray release for Ringu from the fine folks over at Arrow Video. If you've not seen the film, I highly recommend it. This Blu-ray release would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you're a fan of Ringu, you definitely want to look into picking up this Blu-ray release from Arrow Video and adding it to your collection. I'll post a link to Arrow Video's website in the description. Go over and check them out. If you've seen Ringu, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite J-horror film is down in the comments section below also. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Terry Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gassman, Zachary Barton, Lauren Dixon, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, R-Rated Horror, Fear Fuel, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bizdick, Steak Sauce, OG Myers, Mark Striano, 
Jeff Gardner, Travis Davis, The Obsolutionist, Chris Earls, Kevin Fitzpatrick, Randall Beatty, Joseph Hinkle, Hey Isn't That Devon Graham, and Christian Hannah Horror. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.